Hi, it's Mr. Kreider. Um, so I just recorded the whole video and I don't know where it went. And that is what this uh, fourth quarter is going to be like, I guess, huh? Some weird stuff. Hope you guys are all doing so well. Um, totally missed you guys. I had a dream last night where a bunch of my Latin students were in and out and asking me questions and trying to, I'm trying to help them. And anyhow, I hope, hope I can be helpful to you through this uh, fourth quarter. Hope that you all um, are successfully connecting with the material. And uh, with that being said, please get out your grammar notes. It's time to put some stuff in the notebook. Hit pause, go find it. All right, unpause. Here I'm back. Okay, um, in your grammar notes, let's write down this please. Adjectives have three different degrees in both English and Latin. The positive, comparative, and superlative. Positive, comparative, and superlative. So let's start with the positive. The positive is the form that we use uh, when we're just talking about something simply. We're describing it. Uh, something is good. Something is beautiful. Something is tall. Something is fat. Um, those are all different words that describe something, right? That's an adjective. When we make it into the comparative form, it's being able to compare something to something else, right? So um, let's use the word big. So we could say, Mr. Kreider, you are a big guy. Yes, yes, I am. All right, well, Mr. Kreider, you are bigger than Madame Barbin, right? Yes, I am. I'm bigger than her. Uh, and then we move on to um, the word, and that would be the, I'm sorry, and that is the comparative form of big, right? Bigger, E-R ending. Then in uh, the superlative form, then I would say I'm the big est, E-S-T ending. I'm the biggest member of the world language department, right? So I'm bigger than senora, I'm bigger than frau, I'm bigger than madame, but I am, because of that, the biggest uh, person in the department, okay? And so that's positive form, big, mm, uh, comparative form, bigger, and then your superlative form is biggest. Then also, we do that more than one way in English. We sometimes will say things like, um, I am, and we'll, this is going to sound awkward because of the word big, but we could say something like, I am more big than uh, Frau. Now, what we would generally say is, um, uh, this cat is bigger than this cat, but we would sometimes say beautiful, right? So I could say that um, that tree is more beautiful than that tree. And so as a result, then we have the word more being showing that it's a comparative form. Um, the, so, so, so to sum up the comparative form, the comparative form is going to add an ER in English. It's going to say more or it's gonna say rather, okay? So um, I am bigger, I am more beautiful, and I am rather intelligent. All of those would be considered the comparative form of the words, of those adjectives in English. Then let's go down to the superlative again. We already talked about how is the biggest in the apartment. We also will say something like, uh, somebody is very big, right? or they are the most big. Again, most big sounds awkward in English. So we would say he is the most beautiful or he is very intelligent. So those are the three ways that you do the superlative form in English. EST, very, and most, okay? Um, the book then goes in to describe how we form those depending on whether it's a one-two adjective or a third declension adjective. And we'll go over that more um, as we do more lessons, but really right now what you want to do is be able to go through and identify um, the different forms. So your homework for tonight is 34B, and in 34B they have in there different chapters, and the one is not just the chapter translation, it's one of those exercises that is a translation as well, 31F. And then you're going to go in there and find the um, comparative and superlative forms of those adjectives that are in there, translate them as you did originally, and then try and translate them using more, rather, very, most, 
as opposed to like an EST or ER version. Okay, um, that's your homework for tonight. Also, what I'd like you to do is, so you can feel comfortable doing this, is notice that on page 6-7, there is a, one of those greenish blue boxes, and there they show you the forms of, um, of a 1-2 adjective in the comparative form. Okay, um, it's hard to kind of get a feeling as to how you're doing with all of this. So please, please check in. Um, I'm gonna post this video underneath it. You can write in comments, things you have questions about. I'll try and respond to them. If you want a more immediate response, um, definitely email. And uh, there'll also be a private way for you to respond instead of everybody seeing what you write. But you know, tell me how you're doing. Tell me how it's going. Uh, tell me how Latin's going. Tell me how this weird quarantine's going, right? It's tough staying at home. I've been out maybe four or five times at most over the last month uh, to get groceries or do different things like that. And it's been crazy. It's been a little bit crazy. And uh, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Um, I miss uh, having to tell you to stop talking so much. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, keep asking questions, okay? Um, Lily, you have, have you started watching the, uh, any, any linguistics podcasts? I know you're always curious about such things. Um, anybody else have questions about anything at all? Please, uh, reach out. All right. I miss you guys. Coronavirus, coronavirus delendus est. <laughs>